Hi everyone, welcome back to Ski Region Simulator. Here we are, a beautiful early morning sunrise with a helicopter passing over the mountains. How serene. And the ski lift is actually already working, which is uh, amazing. If you look in the top corner, you can see it's just gone 7 o'clock in the morning and we are expecting another snow shower today. So, I have the groomer on standby. We're here at slope 3. It needs a little bit of grooming anyway. If we have a quick look at the slope status, as it were, uh, you can see they're all in good good condition. They're not in tip-top condition, but uh, with the snow that's uh, due to fall, there's no point grooming them now because we'll only, only have to re-groom them after the snow has fallen, so they're okay for now. Uh, we have acquired 140... Sorry, I'll start again. We have acquired $194,000. Uh, from our various uh, various um, cash cows around our region, as it were. Uh, but So we're going to have a look at buying a large extension. Sorry, my mind drifted for a second. It's just started to rain outside quite heavily, and that's what kind of distracted me. Anyway, so restaurant for 145000 Conference room, we've already got one of those. A spa for 170000 um, be tremendously trendy, let your guests be swept away into the wonderful world of wellness. A movie theatre. Some visitors like to top off their skiing day with an entertaining movie. Adjust your programming according to your guests. Oh, that's interesting. A dance club. Yeah! The thumping dance club certainly goes down well with the resort's youth demographic. If you prefer to appeal to senior guests, you can always change the, the music genre that's playing. Oh, so we can have tea. We can have um, tea dances at uh, during the day, and then have a night nightclub at, at at night. Obviously, that's why it's called the nightclub. But um, so I'm thinking between a restaurant, the movie theatre, and the dance club. So that's 135. That's 160. That's 145. Right. I'm not going to purchase just yet. Let's just have a quick look how our drugstore is doing. We're we're here uh, between 10 and 3, right there, top of the mountain. Uh, let's have a look. So our drugstore, low pricing, brought in $5,973 uh, yesterday, which is great. Uh, this hour already, it's up to 60% used. and Well, within minutes, it's almost halfway through its maintenance payment, which is great. Our ski school um, is already maxed out. Wow, brought in $6,300 yesterday. Is doing really well and obviously aimed towards families. And it looks like we've got a rental shop over here in the corner. Uh, $6,350 yesterday. Um, almost paid for itself already today and it's at 72% usage. That's good. Let's just hop down the mountain. Where are we here? Okay, we have now... we now come down to this resort here. Let's have a quick look at our souvenirs. Beaver shop. Uh, 3,510 yesterday. It's it's not... There's no one been there today. It's not the most um, gripping of... Maybe we need to change it. Maybe we need to go from authentic to kitsch... Or antiques... Let's go to Kitch and see how that... They won't want to, you know... The one thing you don't want to do if you're buying antiques is come halfway up a mountain on skis and have to then transport it down to your car. That's just ridiculous. You'll damage it. Pricing is uh, okay for our Al Grat station. Guest serves yesterday 1185 and that's across the resort. And that's at $76 a ticket, so that is fairly good. 43% used already today. We have our conference center with a point man with a pointy stick. Uh, this we have as an exhibition hall at the moment, and it brought in fourteen thousand six hundred and seventy dollars yesterday, which is sweet. So we're not going to touch that. That is doing fine. We have a little food chalet thing here, serving salad because why not? Uh, surprisingly, we've actually had some customers. Um, Forty-eight percent utilized in the last hour. Eighteen hundred dollars earned yesterday. I feel we could be earning some more, but never mind. Uh, another ski rental shop. 
maxed out in the last hour. $6,425 earned yesterday. $625 already today. It's going great. Okay. The weather's still quite nice, first thing, which is quite good. Right, coming down to the bottom now. This is where I wanted to come. Uh, the info center. Now, so we're, we're here at the moment. Um, what I wanted was to have a look at the statistics. So, yesterday we've got youths at 49% happy, singles at 48% happy, uh, families at 51%. We're obviously targeting families and youths at the moment. Uh, young seniors 47, couples 47. Guest distribution, see we're getting larger amounts of families because that's what we're targeting. But we're not getting many young seniors or couples. So... I think that's what we're going to potentially target. So what I was thinking, we have this which is a family hotel. I was thinking about purchasing another hotel when you get a bit of cash, 120, and we'll 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 target seniors or young seniors and and uh, and couples. See if we can't get some um, numbers up here because we are struggling a bit there. Um, that being said, what we need to do is understand what they require. So we have a look at the guest info. Upper class family. It's not really what we are looking for at the moment. Uh, family on a first visit. Okay. Ski school, got that. Childcare, got that. Parking lot, got that. Food stall, fast food, got that. Info booth, kiosk, got that, got that. Okay, so we're perfect for them. Skiing crack. Skiing crack? Uh, singles. Uh, weather station, we don't have one of those. Ski patrol, workforce of three or two. Yes, we've got one of those. Parking lot, yes. Drugstore, yes. Spa, no. Info booth, yes. Families with many children. Childcare, yes. Food stall, fast food, candy. We don't have candy. Uh, ski rental, yes. Ski school, yes. We're targeting families, yes. Hotel type, child friendly, yes. Kiosk, yes. Parking lot, yes. Movie theatre, Animation and comedy, no, but but we potentially could do. Drugstore, yes. Picnic area, no. Uh, info booth, yes. Metalhead, singles. Dance club, rock genre. Food stall, fast food, candy, yes. Movie theatre, evening action, okay. Kiosk, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I don't know. I, I really want to get bored teen. No, I'm not interested in bored teens. I want to get... 14 still. I want to get senior, sorry, young senior, which is kind of contradicts itself. Um, young seniors, here we go. This is exactly what I nickname VIP. Pro level skiing, budget high. Yeah, these are the guys we want to target. Happiness 50%. Conference room. Oh, they want business. Ooh. Well, our exhibition is doing really well. Ski patrol, yes. Helipad, yes. Restaurant, gourmet. Uh, not yet. Spa, beauty, and esoteric. Don't know what that is. Um, cell phone tower, yes. Info booth. Oh, so they want... Ooh, so we could put a restaurant up there. We could have a gourmet restaurant on top of the hill. That is interesting. Hectic family. Fast food, what do you expect? Uh, middle class family. What about... Hmm... Okay, well, oh, what's put at the top? I'm tempted to put, if if this is going to be, uh, you, you know, mainly for youngsters and families, then we could have a, a dance club up there. I think we're going to have a dance club up there. Sound good? Okay, this is going to be a dance club. Money is rolling in. So we're going to buy and we're going to put a dance club up here. Yes. Okay. Uh, Euro dance. Oh, yeah. Techno Euro dance. Rock. Schlager. I don't even know what Schlager is. Jazz. Romance. Techno. Techno, 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 techno. Uh, what do they want? They wanted... I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we can come back and set that. Pricing. We'll have... Yeah, we'll go low to get the... Uh, they've got to trek up a mountain for heaven's sake. Boom. Oh, yes. Disco Vaganza. I wonder what that was going to say then for a second. Look at this. Get your dance shoes on. We've got a disco opening up. 
Woohoo! I'm looking around it for gnomes, which is ridiculous because I've just literally placed the building. So there we go. It's already 5% used. <laughs> People have already gone in. They like a little bit of morning Euro dance. When who doesn't? Who doesn't? So there we go. We've got a disco at the top of the hill. We've got a drugstore next door to get all the uh, pharmaceutical needs that the ravers and revelers will require, which is great. And we've also got a, a ski school just to, uh, when they're all pumped up, to have a go at skiing, which will be uh, probably a calamity. Right. Uh, we checked on those. We had the helipad down here. And we've also got the ski patrol. That's got a workforce of three, and they're doing a grand job. Uh, this is just a facility we're not actually earning any money and we have the cell phone tower up here and that's bringing in um, oh that's maintenance uh, but it brings in um, 1600 a day which is good right okay I'm gonna leave that there fill a vending machine at Serenist uh, yes we could do I suppose why not uh, now is that that's the medical Okay, where's my other scheme of ball? Here it is. Alright, so we're at our parking lot. Oh, God. Can't drive in the first person, that's terrifying. And we've got our speedy uh, schema bob as well, which is quite good. I've noticed that I've, I've decided to use the schema bob for transporting of goods, and the slower schema bob for the transporting of injured people because you know I've got my priorities perfectly there. Whoa! That was a bit of luck. I just got kind of got hooked into a groove and it pulled me to that weird angle. Right, so pick those up. Yep, secured. Oh, they're only at the end of the road. That's quite good. Although this thing is horrible at driving on roads. Let's get rid of that. I know where I'm going. Roughly. That's all I need. I only need a rough indication. Oh god. We almost... these. If these drinks are going in the vending machine, then they're going to be quite dangerous when anybody uh, opens them. They're going to be a little bit of a... Well, this is a scenic route I've picked. I, I'm not... I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say this probably isn't the most efficient route to get to where I want to go. Woo! But it's certainly... Uh, woo! Popping a few... Uh, wheelies which is quite good right up here somewhere should be a green circle and our paycheck there it is right so this part of the map and up there we really haven't explored that much whoops we almost crash into a billboard and that's where I think those gnomes are gonna be there we go nine thousand dollars earned So I'll bring this back into the centre of town. We've got 90 grand already. The parking lot, he really needs to clear that. You know, if he's going to give me some money, I'd, I'd clear it for him for a certain certain payment. But, um, yeah. So, the next hotel along was only only valued at $120,000. So, only 30000 away from being able to buy that. And I think that's going to be our next purchase, another hotel. And then we're going to target young seniors or singles. I haven't quite decided. I think maybe singles. Oh, God. Because, um, you know, they'll be interested in the club scene as well, won't they? So we've got a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the facilities already in place for them. Now, I know a lot of people saying, well, I'm single and I don't want to go clubbing. I know, but you know it's uh, it's kind of like the uh, stereotypical thing to do, isn't it? Go out clubbing, meet people, shout at them from two yards because you can't hear what they're saying. Yeah, we've all done that. Right, so this is absolutely maxed out, this poor little kiosk, but it's bringing in the money, so that's quite good. Um, no, I'm going to keep it at normal pricing. I'm too generous. I'd much rather people have a good time than me make a million pounds. Right, average teenager. Not interested in the average teenager. 
Average teenager, I'm still not interested in your opinions. Hectic family. Uh... Right. Okay. Well, that all being fine and dandy. Um... Just going to take a drive over to the, the last station, which we haven't checked. Oh, actually, we haven't done our parking lot, which we are right here. So as we're here, we might as well just check on the parking lot. 75% uh, use. Oh, that's quite good. So it's already... Uh, it's paying for itself and then some. Almost double its maintenance fees. So good. It's not the uh, the cash drain we thought it might be. It's like our nice orange tractor. For a little drive down here. And this is probably the hotel which we are next, or is likely our next purchase. Yeah, the one with all the uh, icicles on it, uh, which we want to get because uh, that'll they'll hurt somebody. And you know, there's only going to be an insurance job if uh, they start suing us. You know, these are quite dangerous looking icicles. Thankfully, I am a dead-eye shot with a snowball. So, disaster has been averted. Do you know what? That might not actually be the hotel. That's the hotel there with the green dot outside of it. So, um, I just helped somebody else out. Yeah, I'm all for the community and uh, helping people out. So, this one is 120000 So, that's what we're going to buy in a bit. Uh, once we get another 30 grand or 20 grand. No, 30 grand. I want to have a little bit of money to play with. Hopefully we'll get another mission where we can earn some quick cash. But in the meantime, let's check on how our childcare is doing. 75% uh, use. 90% use this hour. Uh, $4,000 we brought in yesterday. 600 maintenance. That is paying for itself and some. 76% use in the last hour. That is going fantastically. I'm all delighted with that. And let's check on our hotel. Oh, is it me or is it getting darker? Clouds are definitely forming, aren't they? You can see all the dark clouds coming over the mountain. Definitely getting darker. Yeah, definitely getting darker. Snow is coming. Winter's coming. Winter's coming. You know nothing, John Snow. Right. Last hour, 26% used. This hour, 26% used. Hurrah. Bought in eleven thousand dollars yesterday. Wow! Can you remember when there was a time when we just could not make any money with our hotel? We are now earning some decent money. Uh, this is the family child-friendly hotel, which is obviously um, oh god, uh, which is obviously the um, the target demographic we're going for at the moment. Here comes, here comes the summer. Oh, sorry. Here comes the snow. That's that's what you get for living in Britain. This is this is pretty much summer. But it's it's not as cold as this stuff. It's normally wetter though. Right. Hundred and four thousand. Uh there's no point doing any grooming. We just gotta wait for the snow to settle really. And then pick up from the disaster afterwards. Let's see how this has gone. Sixty six people have already been to the dance club. It's almost a third of the way through paying for itself. Yeah, Euro dance was definitely the way forward. Everyone likes a bit of Eurodance. Those holiday tunes which you can't get out of your head and you'll never ever hear again. Thankfully, because <laughs> they're normally trash. Should we take... Do we have a little schema bob up here? We just have the, uh, the the cat. I think we just got the cat. It'd be quite interesting to see if there's anything up at that satellite dish over there. It looks like one of the guns from Hoth, doesn't it? Which used to shoot at the, uh, the Atat Walkers. Sorry, the AT AT walkers. People don't like when people don't like it when they say at at. But um, you know, I was a kid when Star Wars was out, so it was at at. Um, okay, well, there is very little to do at the moment until we get a next job, and obviously until the snow fall is complete. Unless I will tell you what we could do. Let's get our lights on. Let's get our blinker on. Actually, we'll switch that off because we're not we're not being gritty. We're going to get the gritter all uh, all 
Put some more salt in there so she's ready to go. We could just start gritting down here. Keep the snow off. Bit of preeminently gritting. Of course, I'm not tasked to keep the roads open, it's just one of those things I uh, I do out of the goodness of my heart. I've just seen some of these fancy hotels. How much does one of these hotels go for? 150,000! Okay, it looks massive compared to the other hotels, but it, it serves the same number of guests. What about this one? It's a nice little lodge thing. 135,000, and that's 30 people as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Size isn't everything, it would seem. Right, so we'll get all this prepared. Nice. We've got our snow blower as well. Lots of salt. Lovely. That worked out lovely, right. Right, this is all good. We'll take this over to um, our parking lot, which is the bit we all need to get done. Let's keep that open. As I said, not really worried about the uh, the roads. We we don't get paid for the roads. Parking lot's not looking too bad at all at the moment. Actually, what I could have done is gone and get the snowblower as well. We'll get the snow blow just in case we need that. But so far, this is just a light shower and it's not really sticking, which is quite good. It's always those things when you're a kid, wasn't it, when it started to snow. I know there'd be people from Scandinavia and places where it does properly snow, and this won't really sink in, but in Britain, you know, very rarely do we have snow that actually sticks on the ground. It normally just melts within the, you know, half hour, a couple of hours because it's never that that cold as it were but um oh it's an accident okay we're gonna have to leave that for a second and quickly jump to the emergency which is here and because i'm so primed and keyed up for an emergency this is not attached ready to go at all no got to do a three point turn to get there right now we go uh down the hill but we've got to go up the hill to go down the hill other way peeps other way Time lights on. So they know we mean business. Uh, now, which slope is it? I think we've come down the wrong slope we have. These are directly ahead of us, so if we do uh, jump over the house. Oh, is that in near the house? No, that's a sled. Yeah, my, my observation skills are appalling. It's a tree. Where is he? There he is. Oh, I regret nothing. This is this is uh, the, the Scandinavian technique for getting down uh, a hill safely. Look at that, beautiful. Yes. That's the British way. Just dive off the edge. Uh. Don't fear, sir. I'm here. I did almost run your legs over with the uh, the scheme of Bob, but you're okay. Right. We'll quickly blast up. This is probably the quickest way back. We've got a. A helicopter pad up here which will, will see you rescued no problems if you survive from hypothermia because once again we've forgotten the emergency bobble hat ah oh dear I 
But maybe maybe what we can sort of counter the uh, the cold snow being brushed over his head is by the uh, the warm exhaust fumes from our little bike. Maybe that's. Uh, so he's got he's got a cold, wet, damp head now, which is uh, uh, you know anyone knows that's uh, that's good for keeping his temperature down and uh, stuff. I've no idea what I'm talking about. Makes no sense what I'm talking about. I'm rambling. But we are about to save this young man. Yay! And we got rewarded with six thousand dollars plus eight thousand three hundred four for being so timely. Um, for some reason, this is snagged on something. What is this snagged on? There's nothing there. There's obviously a really bad clip box coming off that building. Right, let's go back to here. Lights on. Lower on. There we go. I'll also weigh the front of the tractor down a bit, which is quite good. Right, so we've got our blower, which means we can't see anything. Our lights are just reflecting back off the back of the uh, the mower, sh the mower, the uh, blower shield. Right, can't see a thing. I'm gonna have to drive this like I drive a Spitfire, side to side, so you can see past the nose. Well, I'm all prepared for the uh, the hardest of winters and the hardest of snowfall, but it just doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. Look, I'm fully prepared. I've got gritter. I've got a blower. I've got a a, 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 a plow over there. Is this all you got? How is the snow levels on the slopes? They're fine. They're all maxed out, but the grooming level isn't really going down, is it? Well, it's all a little bit hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, and do nothing. Well, I am sure this snow will slowly start to accumulate. And we may have to do something. Oh, there's still flying helicopters in it, so it can't be that bad. It's obviously that guy I dropped off the top of the hill, taking him off. Oh yeah, to finish my point... Danger, don't stand here. <laughs> now, uh, to finish my point off, when you're in a kid in, in the UK and it starts to snow, you're always worried that, you know, you're always hoping for a day off school because of the snow, so uh, you're always watching it every half an hour to see if it's settling. Is it settling? Is it settling? And when it does, you think, yay! And then it melts within an hour and you think, oh, disappointment. Snow has always been a disappointment in the UK. We have had some good snow showers. Remember one year... I was snowed in for a week and a half, which was quite good. I think it was 88, 87. I don't know. One year we had really heavy snow. The other year we had a hurricane. So whichever one the hurricane was, it was the other year. I think the hurricane was 88, so the snow would be 87. Yeah. Well, not a lot's happening here at the moment, peeps. So I'm probably going to leave it here. Thanks for joining us. I hope you have enjoyed my ramblings through Ski Region Simulator this time. Uh, thoughts on the dance club at the top of the hill? Good idea? Bad idea? And thoughts on our next target demographic. Obviously, we've got this hotel, which is only 120,000. Um, and I would like to target couples because we're not, we're just not bringing the numbers in at all. So I think we're going to have a couples seat, uh, young seniors kind of a hotel, which is going to be non-children. So hopefully, we can attract more of these guys in, bring their money in. Families are over 51% uh, happy, and yeah, the although they have dropped slightly today, the happiness is generally on the uh, on the rise, which is all good. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Thoughts, comments, as always, please leave it in the section below, and I will see you next time for more Ski Region Simulator. I'll see you then.